Oh, man! Red Bull Rampage, buddy. If you're unfamiliar with this event, it's basically the playground for everything impossible. Right here, going oh, the flat drop back. No. 2013 Cameron Zink's flat drop backflip, dude. That's, man, that's at least a couple million feet. Upside down with he gets it. 2019 Brandon Seminuk's flat drop backflip to a double drop. Yes. Oh. When did that just happen? Imagine how sketchy that is. Here's some very painful examples to show you just how wrong this can go. Oh, and he just lost his front wheel there, and that's how it's supposed. Oh! You backflip! Cody, oh! Oh! oh. Like, ah, uh, you know. Now on a second note, Riders Republic has been announced to release September 2nd of this year. <laughs> What? Uh, and thanks to the fine people at Ubisoft, dude, we got our hands on some exclusive content of the Red Bull Rampage event in Riders Republic. But I mean, it looks sick. Man, it looks so fun. So just like Red Bull Rampage in the real world, the Rampage challenge in Riders Republic starts from one single drop point. And dude, you can see how good the bike physics look. Well, the gameplay is obviously in first person. You can see the camera pan out to a third person point of view. When a trick is being sauced, the extension on the Superman and the whippity wink of that whip. Dude, that looks so nice. Now, pausing for a second after that whip down the step down, you can see the course branches off to three different lines. And again, this is following suit with Red Bull Rampage. While there's a central drop zone, there's so many different lines to take down the big pile of dirt. Unfortunately, we only have footage for that central line, but you can see the course carries on to another massive step down. We get a really good visual of a backflip, which looks so fluid. Big left side whip there. Again, looking so tasteful. Oh, man. Like borderline imitating one of those like fat 180 whips you'd see in motocross or something, man. They look sick. You can see the rider continue to bomb down the course 76 kilometers an hour, tossing a right side 360 off another step down. I'm not sure if the 360 was just executed poorly or if that's how the threes are actually programmed to look in the game. There's other footage to show it's likely just a poorly thrown three. For example, this left side 360 one footed can can, even though the landing was hacked, the rotation itself, Man, it, dude, it looked viscous to say the least. Moving back to the Rampage course, you can see the character rub some of the rubber over on that berm, carries down to a little bit of a booter here, sauces another loafy backflip, another really good visual there. If you got your lefts and rights down pat, you'll notice the course cuts over to the right, proceeds to another drop where we see a new trick, a tuck no hander there. We get to see one final backflip off a booter before the footage cuts off. Key things to watch out for. As you can probably tell, this is a points-based challenge. You can see the leaderboard off to your left. I'm no mathematician, but it looks like to get first place, you gotta earn more than 62,250 points with the 15 tricks you have available. It looks like for different types of tricks, you get a different amount of points. And also the longer you hold the trick, the more amount of points you rack up. Right, looking at that original Superman, you can see the character sauce the Superman getting 2,500 points. But because they held it for a little bit longer, they doubled their points to 5k for that one trick. Now, if you like digital speedometers, well, buddy, you get one. And there's also a sprint bar, likely indicating you can sprint, you know, speed up your character if you want them to go a little faster. Now, that was all the Rampage gameplay we got access to, but Ubisoft did send off a lot of other footage showcasing MTB in this game. So I'm gonna run through it quickly just to show you the trick arsenal we're working with here. A little bit of a spoiler, it's not, it's good. With a lightsaber beaming out of his ass, we saw a backflip tuck no hander. So doing some combos with some flips. We also saw off axis rotations. So there you can see the character doing a cash roll, which is essentially a front flip with a 720 degree rotation. And it's difficult to notice, but you can see off to the right side, it says he was also doing a whip with it. So again, it looks like you're gonna be able to do a lot of combinations with your tricks, you know, 360s with can-cans, tuck no handers, backflips, cash rolls with whips, with, I don't know, maybe a knack-knack or something. Moving on, we got another left side 360, one-footed can-can, looking super sick, a backflip X-up. All an X-up is, is when you take your handlebars and do a 180-degree rotation with them. So it's kind of like a bar spin, but not at the same time. And moving on to a different course, we saw a 720 table. They call it a table, but it looks more like an unturned down. I think you could also call it a in table. Again, MTB is not my specialty, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Regardless, you can do higher degree rotations while moving your bike in a steezy way. Next up, we saw a really sick tail bonk to a double front flip Superman. Dude, that was so sick. 
A little bit of an over-rotated left side 630 can-can. And then more or less the same things we've kind of been seeing, but in opposing directions. So there's a right side 720 with a right side kind of unturned down looking thing. And then a double backflip X up. Oh, dude. Man, be left side 720, one foot a can, dude, sending it to the blitz bottom. And I want to make sure you see this. You can see a slight roost for the honeys there, brother. In other words, the character drifted his bike a little bit, you know, swerved that back wheel, enabling them to get a harder and steezier turn. I don't know if it sounds like a big deal to you, but being able to roost, being able to drift your bike is going to make the riding experience a lot more fun, especially when it comes to some of these downhill races we're seeing in the game. Now that sums up all the additional MTB tricks I saw from this set of gameplay but obviously there was more shown at e3 right we saw tail whips and cork 720s with slow style bikes i'll be posting a few more videos over the next few weeks that go over the other things that were covered in this set of gameplay so if you want dude stay tuned i guess other than that boys you know i love you and you know the good good lord the lord there rubber ducky he loves you man he does okay we'll see you in the next one